friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with small people let us observe the surgical steps two paracentesis opening are uh, being made almost simultaneously and then the main incision is made at the mid limbus with a 2.8 mm keratom and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and then tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble some adrenaline has been injected and now visco is being injected i thought i'll be able to do the case without any people expansion device so i proceed with rexis and size of the people is okay about 5 mm at this time so i'm doing the rexis along the margin of the people but as the capsule touches the iris it tends to become small and let us see what happens after hydrodissection as i do hydrodissection and as i touch the people touch the iris at some points the people becomes more small so i have decided to use a people expansion device and the device that i am going to use is b hex people expander invented by dr suven bhattacharji it's a beautiful device doesn't need any injector system for its application as well as for its removal the forceps that is being used for its application is b hex forceps i take the device completely into the anterior chamber and tuck the leading flange at on go then i tuck the flange at around on o'clock and then i use the left side port and tuck the flange at 10 o'clock the flanges with tabs uh being applied at been are being tucked underneath the iris now see the people has taken a beautiful hexagonal shape and now let us proceed with feco this is a totally unedited surgery the feco needle goes bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed now the hand piece is turned bevel is up the tip is now buried into the nuclear mass and then the nucleus is chopped into two halves the chopper that i am using is known as mohanta chopper it's a small chopper it is made by joja surgical as well as plus surgicals feco power used is 60% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury the iris at, is at its original plane it's not elevated at all the nucleus has been managed now i inject 2% aspmc and in this case i'm going to use a 23g simco cannula for cortical clean up by manual irrigation aspiration can also be used for cortical clean up but this instrument works very well in my hands 
cortical cleanup is almost complete and now I'm using the irrigating probe of bimanual irrigation aspiration for polishing the posterior capsule here it is the irrigating jet is directed towards the posterior capsule and polishing occurs very nicely visco is injected this is 2% SPMC and now a foldable monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag this is a hydrophilic lens the patient belongs to lower socioeconomic st status uh, cannot afford hydrophobic lens and now removal of the VHEX people expander is easy just pull the device centrally go above the iris all uh, all the flanges untuck and just hold a portion just in front of the main incision and pull it out and now see the people has taken its original shape there is no sphincter tear and now the viscoelastic substance has to be cleaned very nicely many surgeons neglect this step and remove only half or two-third of visco but if we spend adequate time we can clean the visco very nicely you must remove the visco from the anterior chamber from the posterior chamber and from the capsular back the three areas just in front of the eye, behind the edges and behind the eye well these three areas must be free of visco I use both Simco as well as bimanual irrigation aspiration for cortical cleanup now at this moment visco is clean from the capsular back now from the posterior chamber now from the anterior chamber and now irrigation and aspiration is being used together in this way thorough cleaning of visco is done and now this is a bit of moxie moxie fluxacin and now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration BSS is injected into the corneal stroma on either side of these stab incisions and these stab wounds close and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber I do this religiously in all cases and incidence of TAS is nil in my cases thank you very very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence